Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming along. Uh, my name's Steve Taylor. I'm the Acting Assistant Commissioner of Crime. Uh, last week was the National Child Protection Week. So uh, in SAPOL's support of that, we launched Operation Child Safe last week, which ran on Wednesday and Thursday, respectively. Uh, the objective of Operation Child Safe was to ensure compliance with the uh, Australian National uh, Child Offenders Register. And so um, uh, as a result of that, we actually deployed uh, 177 police. Um, those 177 police were primarily made up from within crime service, but we also used some external uh, police as well. But as I say, primarily crime service. During the course of the two days, we ran day and afternoon shifts and we attended a total of 377 premises. Now, not all uh, homes were occupied at that time, so we had uh, several visits and we ended up searching a total of uh, 267 houses. Uh, of the 267 houses searched, uh, we arrested 62 people for serious breaches of the Child Sex Offenders Registration Act. Those breaches included, um, uh, sorry, there were 24 people were actually arrested, there were 62 charges in total. So of the 24 arrested, 13 were actually charged um, somewhat disturbingly with child exploitation material. Of those people arrested, six people have been remanded in custody and they'll be appearing in court uh, at the end of this year and early next year. So our main focus was to ensure uh, compliance with the uh, conditions and terms of the, of the registration. And um, we primarily focused on the metropolitan area, but we also went out into Air Western, Barossa, Mid North, Mid North, and also um, Limestone Coast. So it was really a broad um, expanse that we actually attended over the two day period. Uh, in total, uh, we seized 51 devices, electronic devices, and those devices include things such as computers, laptops, uh, tablets, and mobile phones. Uh, one person was also charged with failing to provide um, the password for one of his devices. Uh, all of that material is currently before our digital forensic experts, and that'll be analysed, and uh, we would anticipate there'll probably be further charges at a later stage for some of those people. All of our staff were given a very clear brief and that is zero tolerance. Um, obviously, uh, children being the most vulnerable and trusting members of, uh, of our community deserve to be fully, uh, you know, completely safe at all times, and that's why we adopt a zero tolerance approach. Um, if anyone has any information uh, in regards to any child exploitation material or any offending against children at all, we would encourage those people to contact uh, Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Any questions? Uh, there's certainly been one person that I'm aware of that has been saved from uh, further abuse, um, but we would anticipate further charges will probably be uh, forthcoming once the analysis of all of that material is done. Is this that you went through 377 addresses, but you searched less 100 yes. or more less? Is that because people weren't home? Correct. Or always... That's right, yep. Yep. Be reattending those? Uh, that's why we ran a day and an afternoon shift. But uh, I guess I'd say um, this this is obviously a very large scale operation as far as SAPOL is concerned. Um, but it's not to say this is um, um, not business as usual. Um, we constantly go out every week. I read the reports of, of our detectives that go to these different addresses and search for compliance. Uh, and so um, uh, it's not unusual for us. Normally we'll, we'll hit 10 or 20 places per week, every week. Um, but this was just an opportune moment for us to, to do a large number together. Is there any suggestion from the results that we need to increase the amount of those searches usually from 20 upwards? Oh, I, think, I think the current status is that we've got it right. I think um, we do it very well currently in this state. Uh, it's not to say though that um, we should sit back and rest on our successes. Um, we constantly look at other jurisdictions. We're currently looking at uh, Queensland, Victoria and also in Western Australia. And if there's any learnings from that, um, we'll bring those um, uh, across to South Australia and we'll adapt them locally. Are these numbers concerning? It's always concerning, I think, when there's any offending against children, uh, and that's why we adopt the zero tolerance approach. So the message is really clear as far as we're concerned. If, if somebody is on the register, and there's 2,252 people on the register here in this state, if somebody's on the register, um, it's very important they comply with the conditions, otherwise um, we will be paying those people a visit, and as I say, um, we'll have a zero tolerance. Is this an annual thing that you do for like, Operation Child Safe? 
Um, this, this is probably the largest one we've done in, in some years. Um, it's not to say, though, that um, we won't roll out similar size uh, operations in the near future. So, again, the warning is very clear. If you breach, uh, you will be caught and you will face the uh, consequences. What's the benefit of uh, checking up on these uh, people all at once? Is there some benefit to it being done uh, simultaneously? Uh, it was just an opportune moment for us, as far as we were concerned. It was to coincide with the, the national initiative of the Child Protection Week. Um, so uh, uh, no huge benefit to be derived from it, but uh, it was quite disturbing to see the, the amount of breaches. With breaching parole conditions, um, can you be a little bit more specific with, with some of those? Like, were some living near schools when they shouldn't be, that sort of thing? Uh, the breaches were typically um, um, fairly standard breaches, I'd say, in some regard. Um, some of, the, some of the breaches might have been um, one person uh, failed to provide his, uh, his internet access account. Um, some people um, have failed to notify police of uh, changing their vehicles, their employment conditions, uh, any contact with children. Um, uh, and so, so we're really strict on, on that. Um, obviously, if they're on the register as well, they have to comply with certain conditions. They can't, um, they can't leave the state without advising the police, without advising the registrar. So it's a really restrictive um, uh, process, but it's one all about child safety. In terms of um, working with employment with children, were there some people that shouldn't be working with children and, and were? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. No. We had no breaches in that regard. Great. All right, thank you. Um, we've got some stuff.